I object. Silence. You can't silence me. I'm the judge. And? I'm in charge. Right. You are not in charge and no. No. You are guilty. Until proven innocent though, right? Which I'm going to be. No, in the United States of America, you are innocent until proven guilty. Nuh-uh. Yeah. -huh. Not today. Okay. <laughs> They're making exception. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sure the courts do that all the time. Well, I mean, why don't we just go ask kids that do know what goes on in the courtroom? That's a good idea. Who would we know that goes to school here that would know that kind of stuff? Someone from the mock trial club. The mock trial team. <gasps> yeah? Yeah. Let's go let's go talk to them. Let's go check it out. Hi, I'm Breezy Hagel here with Nick Ozerowski talking about the mock trial club. So what is mock trial? Mock trial is a um a student organization, um rem technically officiated by the PA Bar Association. Um, each year we are given a case to which we are supposed to learn and act out the happenings of um, a, tr a trial. Um, we go to court and we, argue, we learn the case given to us by the Bar Association and we act as either lawyers or witnesses depending on the competition and argue against other teams in a case. So do you get the case scenario before or is it once you get there that day? Oh right. yeah, oh, yeah. we're given months to prepare. Um, the case is put on, uh, online. It's one case that the entire state of Pennsylvania uses. Um, it includes all of the stipulations, um, witness statements, ex uh, um, ex exhibits, and um, we prepare for a few months and then the competition is about in February. Okay. So how can you join mock trial? Are like, there special requirements that you have to meet? or Nope. Join? Everyone's free to come. Um, it's, there's, it is kind of difficult sometimes, but um, it's definitely a great learning opportunity and there's a lot of room for improvement and So who's your sponsor of the Mock Trial Club? Um, our sponsor is Mr. Elias. Um, we also have a judge, um, a former judge, she's retired, um, come in to help with more of the legal uh, spectrum of the uh, group. Um, her name is Judge Simmons and she was formerly a judge in business court. Okay, from the Norristown area? I don't. I think she was a judge in um in Philadelphia County. Okay, so what do you guys do at the meetings then? Um, until the case comes out on November first, but until then it'll just be introductory things. We'll introduce some concepts of law and an introdu introduction, so nobody's lost and everybody's on the same page. And then once November comes and the case is released, we start preparing for the trial. So who leads mock trial other than the sponsors? Is there like an officer team? Um, generally, um, me and Craig Madrak are the captains. Um, we kind of, we've been in it for a while, so um, we kind of officiate things when, um, when the judge or Mr. Elias isn't there to help. Okay. Um, How have you guys done in the years past then? In the years past, we've always had a very small group of maybe 5 to 15 people um, that we, it's very difficult. Um, so, like, what's the most challenging thing then, would you say? Um, the most challenging part of it is that it's kind of difficult to understand sometimes, and um, the trial isn't necessarily easy, and it's kind of scary that you have to speak in front of a judge and a jury and an against another team, but um, it's definitely a great learning experience and teaches you um, great articulation skills. So do you guys go on any other, like, field trips to prepare for this? Do you go watch other court cases or is it just uh, we go to around? we go to a convention usually in the spring um, that all of the other mock trial teams in the area go to it's kind of like an information session but other than that it's mostly school based so do you guys have anything else planned for this year other than the main competition do you guys do like fundraisers do you do informational sessions to other people well luckily we're a team that doesn't really require very much if any funding um, but yeah, we definitely, well, there are two competitions and depending on which or both of those we win, we could move on to districts and states, et cetera. Okay, that sounds cool. So what do you guys hope to accomplish this year? Um, this year, we're, well, I do want to win. Uh, <laughs> of course. Right, yeah. Everyone um, wants to. Right. Have you guys won before? 
Well, we only they only give you two chances. They give you there's two different competitions, okay. and then you have to pass both of those to get to districts. Um, we haven't won to any any of the two in the recent years or in the years I've been on the team, but hopefully we're going to change that this year. Yeah, hopefully. So good luck with that. We hope you guys do too. Where do you guys go for the competitions? They're at actually the Montgomery County Courthouse. They're in a real courtroom in front, set in front of a real judge, in front of real jurors. Can like the public come and watch like yeah, an the, actual case? Yeah, they're open. Um, yeah, parents obviously come, moderators. Um, but yeah, it's open to the public if you wanted to come. So what's that day like? Like when you get there, what do you guys do? And then from there, what happens next? Well, we take a bus from the high school. Usually the competition is until like four o'clock. So we order pizza before and um, we wait here. And then we leave um, from the high school and drive to the courthouse, which can be kind of intimidating because there's usually a lot of teams going to the courthouse that day. Um, you check in, you have to go through the sensors and all this stuff. Uh, you know, yeah. It's, it can be kind of scary, but um, it's really neat to be able to practice the law and the trial in an actual courtroom. Mm, are the judges they're, cool? they're, yeah. are they intimidating? Um, some of them are nice. I've had some, um, some ones that were um, very realistic, we'll say, and the yeah. other ones are very um, accommodating and they understand most of them do that we are students and we don't, we're not necessarily real lawyers. Do you get to like, interact with other schools? Yeah, the other teams are actually really nice. Um, you're allowed to talk and mingle with the other teams after the, um, after the trial. Uh, there are a lot of teams there. So as you're leaving, you kind of see people. And then you kind of get to know people that are on other teams from recent years or even people you've competed against in past years at the trial. So a lot of these kids that are in mock trial are probably pursuing a career in law. Are they able to make like connections with actual lawyers and actual judges to maybe do like internships or like get a job later on down the line? Right. Um, like I said, we have a judge that um, kind of moderates our group, um, and most schools do have that. Um, so obviously, you form a very strong connection with the judge or former lawyer that was in your group. Um, additionally, uh, you, I mean the judges. Um, I. There's a lawyer in my family, and the judge actually recognized my name. <laughs> and um, so they all kind of know each other, and they're linked, and they know people that do mock trial, and they know that all of these students are kind of interested in law. And you can actually build strong relationships with some of yeah. the, the officers at these competitions. What would you say your favorite thing is about mock trial? My favorite thing about mock trial is definitely the strong relationship you build among the people on the team, because if we're with each other a lot, and it's very, um, it's, a, it's a learning process for everyone. And it's not something that anybody on the team is necessarily better at than each other, just because we're all learning through this because it's such an archaic process. Um, definitely the strong connections you build with one another and all the things that are capable of being learned throughout the entire process. So how many kids do you have in mock trial this year? This year, I haven't had a full count just because we're still doing the introductory meetings, okay. but hopefully we have a good turnout. Now, to prepare for this, do you guys each get like set individual tasks or is it just all together you all work on everything? Um, usually, well, in the two sides of any trial, there's a prosecution and a defense. Yeah. Um, by the, we try to have 12 people on the team so that we can split six up into a defense category and six up into a prosecution category. And each works on those kind of bifurcated spectra a little bit um, focused. Um, but other than that, we're all constantly working together, collaborating on ideas, and it kind of works out that the constitution, the um, constitution, the defense mm -hmm. and the prosecution kind of work together because then they can kind of play devil's advocate to each other's yeah. points. Right. So, is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, I just suggest that um, if you're interested in law or really anything, um, obviously. Um, if you're interested in law or any other type of profession, it would be a great chance for you to come out and learn, and it would be a great opportunity for the team to um, have new and diverse members. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like a lot of fun, so hopefully you guys get a good turnout this year. I'm Breezy Hagel talking to Nick Ozerowski about the Mock Trial Club. Now back to the Eagle's Eye.